the big day at the play? Could we just seen the ball well, or how would you assess your day? Yeah, um, I want to give a lot of credit to Coach Thompson for that. I think our scouting reports here are something like I've never been a part of the last four years. So I think having a good approach going into the game helped me a lot today. In, partic in particular, your seventh inning home run in that first game that gave you the lead. Uh, what did you see in that hit? Um, yeah, I we, like it's like I said, we had a good scouting report again, and he started me off 1-0, and I know he didn't want to get behind. So I was looking fastball, and he gave me one I could handle and put a good swing on it. For you and Jace, uh, how good did those last couple of innings feel in game two to get the offense clicking the way that it did? Yeah, it was good. I mean, just kind of just shows our fight as an offense as a whole. Um, guys just putting it together good at bats, and uh, a lot of good things happen when, happen when that clicks. Yeah, like you said, I think at the end of the game, um, everybody kind of had the feeling that we were going to win. But to add on to that, I think is good to get that, especially going into conference play. I don't think anybody outside the dugouts knew there was a run rule. Did you guys know that that was in? I had no was idea. No. Uh, I got on third, and Coach Thompson's like, hey, he's kind of been bouncing the balls. Just look for a dirt ball right here, and if it kicks away, go ahead and score, because that'll be the run rule. And so uh, that's what I was doing. <laughs> What was working for you today? Uh, my fastball and my cutter. I was trying to throw the inside and fastball and worked out. How big was it for you to, to after last week, having the short outing, to come back and have an outing like you did today? I think the biggest thing was throwing good today because since the loss yesterday, we needed a big win. So I knew they were going to score today. So it was pretty good. Uh, Jace, three hits in game two. Uh, Y'all had not been hitting well with the bases loaded until you know your triple. Just Can you just maybe talk about it? getting in the groove now, even after last night? Yeah, just uh, just coming today with a great approach. Um, working with Coach Thompson a lot, just talking about mentality and uh, just attacking early in the count, being aggressive. Um, and that's kind of like what we saw in my last three at-bats. Um, the first two were lackadaisical, and the last three I was really locked in. And I uh, give credit to Coach Thompson, honestly. Mike, you didn't catch him today, but Hagen, his bounce back, what did, what did you see of his stuff today? Uh, I thought he was phenomenal. Um, that fastball was running up to, like Coach Van Horn said, 97. And I know his slider was working a lot better than it has in the past so far. Um, I thought it was a lot more accurate today. And I think that helped him get farther into the game than what we've seen so far. Chase, uh, I know yesterday you, you broke through with the two doubles, but it was in a loss. Does it, does it feel a little bit better today to have a big game like that and, and you win? Yeah, it feels a lot better now. Um, you can kind of celebrate a little bit. Um, yesterday was just kind of like it was nice, but we had a lot of work to do. Uh, it was just good to see our team come out here and compete and uh, get the job done. You talked last night about how you know, baseball is such a mental game. Uh, how, how big were those two hits at the end of last night in order for you to do what you did today? It was good, just carrying a lot of confidence into the day. And like I said, I mean, this is, this is like a mental game, and you can't let it beat you up because, I mean, the game wants you to feel sorry for yourself, and you can't let that happen. So you just got to stay positive and uh, just ride the, the confidence wave, really. For any of you who want to answer this, what do you think it says about the team that you've gotten behind in a series twice this year and you've come back and won two games, and then to do it in the manner you did today in a doubleheader? I think it's big. Um, it's going to happen in conference play. It happens to everybody. And for us to come back and win those two games, I think, is big for us to keep that uh, momentum moving towards these, or these games coming this weekend. Michael, I think you were at first during Jackson's start. Uh, but what, what did you make of his, his play? What was it like playing behind him? Yeah, uh, he's fun to play behind. They don't, if they make contact, it's usually not putting play that hard. So, I mean, I thought he attacked early and got ahead of guys, and it helped them get farther. Or I think this is as far as he's gone into a game so far this year. But yeah, I mean, it was fun to watch. How do you feel playing over there at first base? You made a pretty slick play there, I think, in the first or second inning. How, how does it feel over there? Mm, yeah, play? I'm pretty comfortable there. I've played a lot there at my old school. So I've bounced from there third and catching for my whole life. So I'm still comfortable there. Yeah, I asked Coach Van Horn about this earlier, but about playing six games in seven days. And now you've got a few days off. I mean, for you guys to play every day, you feel like that's needed? I'll enjoy it, for sure. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, just get your off days, get your rest when you need it. Um, you need to do little things, like just go hit a little bit, but not too much, um, for sure. But definitely playing these many games, you got to take your rest days and make sure you get your body ready for the next one.